Hi, I'm Corey Talbot from Hyde Tools, and I'm going to show you how to use the quick reach poles from Hyde. Uh, the, the poles come in three different lengths after you choose the different length that you want. You have to have a gun that's going to fit into the top of the pole. Uh, we have a wing nut system here that spins out that allows you to get the gun in. This is a two finger gun, and what you want to do is you want to position this so that it's right up on top of uh, the pulley system, and then go ahead and tighten this down. And then what you do is you're going to actuate this from down the bottom. You make sure that's nice and tight. You pull here and it pulls the trigger up to top. So you're able to net, not get on a ladder, uh, stay off of ladders. This is great for stairwells and second stories and inside, outside, it doesn't matter. Um, the other features of the product are that it actually telescopes up and down and that's why we have the three different sizes. Uh, the tele they scope, telescope all the way up to 12 feet on our biggest size, so a normal sized person can get up to a second story outside. This is uh, the first setup. There is a secondary setup if you have a, a four finger gun. You actually have to uh, loosen this up, take your gun out, and we're going to replace it with the four finger. Now, some four fingers will work this way if you put it in there correctly, but some of them won't. There's not enough travel there. So to get around that, this actually swivels and points in the other direction. And when you do that, you're then able to get in a situation where it's down the bottom. And what you want to do is, because this is a much smaller gun, we've got to tighten this up. And you see where I'm holding it? Right against the barrel. And you're going to tighten it up as much as you can. And you basically accomplish the same thing. Now, the one thing about this is now your trigger is on the other side because you've switched this over. So you need to loosen up the pole, swing it around so it's facing in the same direction as the trigger, tighten that back up.